Time to get to the weekly options alert with Alan Nuckman, the chief market strategist at St. Paul Research. Hello, Alan. Hi, Angie. You can see I'm off the beach and back in the big city. Stocks have been steady after a strong, strong summer. It's a big week for Apple. What's the update on your Apple trade? So last week's peak in Apple took 100% profit before the pullback in the stock. A good, again, good money management. But that was the fourth consecutive week with a winner. Let's talk about our current play. It's September expiration here is Friday. We've got Freeport Mac Ren and Plug, which needs some power. Again, in the money options, we're going to salvage because they're still in the money for now. Let's look at October. We've got PLTR, we're shooting for that 100% gain in that second half of our position. And then we've got China Life and AMD with time to develop. Tell us about your new trade of the week. Today's trade trigger, Credit Swiss Comeback. So this stock is 30% off its February top. And it's been trading between 10 and 11 for six full months. A sideways range, look for breakout. A breakout above 11, that targets 12 on the upside. And there's plenty of gaps up above, up to 13. So this is a stock that people are looking at as bad enough to buy. Smart money thinks so, and you're seeing some people load up on positions in CS right now. So the play I'm looking at, buying more time than usual because this is an inexpensive uh, strike, I'm buying the January 9 call. Four full months of time here. The low in this stock is 950, so you have the right to be long from a lower level than the stock has been. So the key here is to have enough time to be right and if this stock can bounce here and get to that 13 level and fill in that gap, this option will double. What would be your trading day takeaways? All right, let's talk trading takeaways. Trading takeaway number one, stock stall, but not a fall. All right, last week, the S&P did not make new all-time highs, which has been rare, uh, but the NASDAQ did. So stocks keep being strong. Number two, crude climb. Crude oil is back above $70. It's very important psychologically. It's a healthy macroeconomic indicator showing overall strength. Number three, rate reality. All this fear and focus on rates rising is not real. So if you look at the markets, according to the futures markets, right now we're at zero as far as uh, short-term interest rates go. The markets are telling us we're going to get a quarter point hike in December of 2022, then another quarter point June of 23, and December of 23, to bring it to a grand whopping total of three quarters percent in the next two years. So I don't know about you, but I think that's still a sign the stocks have a long, long time to shine. Let's hope, Alan. Well, we have a new station that recently joined us, and I'm going to give you the honors because you have a special connection. I want to welcome my hometown station, WLUC, uh, to Business First with Angela Miles. It'll be on at 6.30 in the morning on Fox UP. It's been 30 years ago that I was an intern uh, reporter, uh, and that place is someplace special. Thank you, Alan, and thank you, WLUC. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.